Hello everyone, in this lecture the topic, descriptive linguistics is explained in detail with understandable examples. But if you are new to my channel then please like and subscribe it. I know there must be a question in your mind that why it is called a descriptive linguistics. So let me first tell you that descriptive linguistics is called descriptive because it focuses on observing and describing the actual usage of language. Simply, linguists in this field record, analyze, and explain linguistic phenomena as they occur in natural contexts, without imposing any judgments or prescriptive rules. Basically, the main goal is to understand languages as they are spoken by people in various communities, capturing the nuances, variations, and complexities of real-life language use. Or you can say, descriptive linguistics is concerned with the description and analysis of the elements of language and the ways in which it is used by a given set of speakers at a given time. The time may equally well be the past, where adequate written records are available. In descriptive linguistics, we are interested in the operation of a language. Basically, it is often regarded as the major part of general linguistics, and certainly the fundamental aspect of the study of language. In other words you can say, descriptive linguistics is the scientific study of a language with the aim of describing accurately the languages that people speak. It involves analyzing and describing the structure of language, including its sounds, the formation of words and sentence structure. You need to remember that descriptive linguistics has two main types, they are, synchronic linguistics, and diachronic linguistics. Let's first learn, synchronic linguistics. Synchronic linguistics is a type of descriptive linguistics that focuses on the structure and usage of a language at a particular point in time, often the present. Basically, it aims to describe the language as it exists during the period of study without considering historical context. Actually, synchronic linguistics, as a branch of descriptive linguistics, has several key characteristics. The first one is, focus on the present. By this point it means that it studies language at a specific point in time, which can be the present or a particular moment in the past. Simply, you can say the point, focus on the present, in synchronic linguistics refers to the study of a language as it exists at a particular moment in time. This approach does not consider the historical development or future changes of the language. Instead, it aims to analyze the language's current state, including its grammar, vocabulary, and usage among speakers at the time of study. Language Structure This is also one of the characteristics of this approach that it analyzes the components of a language, such as phonetics, morphology, syntax, as they exist during the period of study. Simply, it means that it refers to the analysis of a language's components and how they are organized and function at a specific point in time. This includes studying the sounds, the formation of words, the construction of sentences, and the meaning of words and sentences. Descriptive Nature By this point it means that synchronic linguistics describes language without making judgments, focusing on how language elements function and are used. In other words you can say, it refers to its objective approach to study a language. It involves observing and documenting language as it is actually used by speakers, without prescribing rules or suggesting how it should be used. This means that synchronic linguistics aims to describe the language in its current form, capturing the natural patterns, structures, and meanings as they exist in real life. On the other hand, Diachronic linguistics is concerned with the historical development and evolution of a language over time. It looks at how languages change and develop, which is not typically the focus of descriptive linguistics, 
as it does not aim to describe the current state of a language but rather its history and changes. In other words you can say, diachronic linguistics is the study of how languages change over time. It's one of the two main temporal dimensions of language study, the other being synchronic linguistics, which looks at a language at a specific point in time. Diachronic linguistics involves tracing the development and evolution of a language through different historical periods. If you are not getting the point let me tell you some of its key points then you will learn it. The first one is Tracing language evolution By this point it means that diachronic linguistic studies how languages change over time, often over long historical periods. Basically, Linguists examine texts from different periods to observe changes in language use. The next point is, reconstructing language history. By this point it means that linguists use diachronic methods to reconstruct the prehistory of languages and determine their familial relationships. Basically, reconstructing language history is a fundamental aspect of diachronic linguistics. It involves piecing together the evolution of languages by using various methods to infer the features of past language stages. Simply, it compares related languages to reconstruct features of their common ancestor. Explaining language changes. This is also one of the main points of diachronic linguistics that it seeks to develop theories about the causes and mechanisms of language change. Simply, it means diachronic linguistics takes a historical approach to language, using comparative methods, reconstruction techniques, and diverse data sources to understand how languages change over time and the factors influencing this evolution. It offers a valuable perspective for appreciating the dynamism and richness of human languages. In other words you can say its aim is to reconstruct not just the sounds and grammar of ancestral languages, but also the historical processes that caused languages to change. I hope you have enjoyed this lecture then please don't forget like and subscription to my channel. Thank you.